linear vision of the string matrix. In this video, I want to talk about the maintenance of your base. And it has to do with the position of the bridge. The thing is, your strings mostly will expand a little bit with time. So every time you tune the bass, you will mostly tune it upwards. And with this tunic, tuning upwards, the, the bridge is going to be pulled in this direction. So you have to do something about it. Checking the bridge of a bass is a little bit like checking the oil of a car. You can drive for miles and miles and you will drive absolutely fine. But someday you will have a severe damage if you don't check the oil level. And it's exactly the same with the bridge. If you don't check it, it may crash or you will have a completely bent bridge which, uh, which also alters the, the action and the length of the string and it has no stability. So let's see what we have to do. Some people do this in the following way. They just press here downwards. You can do it this way, but I would recommend another method where you have a better grip of the bridge so you can really shift it exactly uh, the way it has to be. For this, if you have a workbench, that would be great. Uh, I don't have one, so I will put the base on the floor. So better find a place uh, where you have carpet or put the base on a rug or on a yoga mat, something like that and put a pillow under the head of the uh, base. So in this base, we have this problem. The feet of the bridge don't stand flat on the top of the base. Maybe you can see the gap here, or I can show you with this piece of paper, which I can slip under the bridge. This means I have to do something. So what I do, I place myself to the bottom side of the base, my arms are on the base top and then I grab the bridge with both hands and I would, what I will do with, the, with this part of my hand I stabilize the bridge and with uh, my thumb and my index finger I pull back the bridge to the place where it should be. Like this. The one important thing is that we don't want to see the gap here and then the thing is we have to have a 90 degrees angle between the back of the bridge and the top of the base. So you can take for instance a CD and place it here and see of course the, the top of the base is curved so it's difficult to have really 90 degrees but we are pretty close I would say I will pull the bridge one more millimeter back. So. so, this already looks very good. Yeah, so that's it basically. We've checked if the angle of the bridge is correct, but while we're at it, why not check if the position of the bridge on the top of the base is the correct position. So concerning this axis, um, it's very easy because these marks here in the, in the F holes, they show you exactly where the middle of the feet should be. And I have a practical trick to check this very precisely. You just need two pieces of paper and you put them like this along the feet of the bridge and then you can see exactly if this mark is really in the middle between both pieces of paper. And then the other thing is this axis. Should the base, uh, should the bridge be more towards this f-hole or towards this f-hole? To check this, you can measure this distance and it should be exactly equal to this distance on the other side. What you can also do is to check if the bridge is aligned with your fingerboard. So you would 
look at it this way, for instance. And normally, if these distances are the same, then the alignment should also be exactly the same. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. So don't forget to check the angle of your bridge every now and then, I would say once a month or so. Um, if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, just hit the button, that would be really great for me. And uh, if you have any questions about this or other questions about the setup of the base, maybe I can help with that. Just leave your question in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Bye-bye.